Hey, this is Matt. Once again, what about the other videos? The paid request this time for Edward. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reactions, commentaries, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, how do I put it? This is for Edward, South Park Season 13, Episodes 6 and 7. One episode I didn't like and one episode I did like. Episode 6 I did not like at all. I really do not like the Randy character, Stan's dad. I know he has a, a following. I'm not one of them. I like the characters of Butters. Uh, Cartman I liked more in the first couple seasons, but I, I still... bit interested in Cartman, which is episode 7, one of the reasons I like that episode. Stan is there, Kyle is there, but Randy just, he gets on my nerves. The only episode I liked that he was heavily featured in so far was the Rocky one, where, but that's because it had Rocky music and try to have like moments, montages like Rocky, and I'm, I'm a Stolen fan, I mean, I'm a sucker for Rocky. That's really more why, not because it was Randy. I don't know, just Randy just... I just don't find him as fun as other people do. And what the episode's about is he gets his son Stan to do the Pinewood Derby, which is these little toy cars, and he's supposed to build it from the kit and race these little cars. But Randy really wants to win, so you find out via the news that he stole this magnet dressed up as Princess Leia for some reason. Doesn't explain why, just because and puts it to the car it wins Stan wants to tell the truth Randy says no we're gonna lie about it and the car went so big and fast it went into warp drive and went into space sooner than later Stan and his dad get notified by the NSA saying because of your car your little toy car we got in contact with an alien alien race which I don't know why they're so surprised by it they've seen weird as shit in the show I mean wasn't the whole government everybody about imagination land but it's South Park not supposed to take that shit seriously but when the alien arrives it's a gangster alien saying I want you to build another warp drive type of thing. They don't know how to do it. Stan's like, we should tell the truth. Randy says, no, we'll look stupid. I made a shift, stab him. Stan stabs him. Space cops come. Oh, yeah, this alien had this space money. Do you have it? Everybody there is like, nope, we don't know what you're talking about. They take the space cash. Because the rest of the world, governments, her overheard. You have to spread the space cash around. And kind of like you see in other movies dealing with a heist or stealing the money. Not just a heist, but stealing the money. You have to be quiet or you don't spend it too much or you give us away. And it just wasn't funny. It's like the idea, the story, the drive for it. I just didn't find it as entertaining or as funny or as intriguing as maybe other people or as the creators thought they were. Like the jokes, Randy made a shiv and got Stan to stab the alien. Okay, space money, space cops. We need to destroy Finland so they can keep quiet. Not much of the other characters are featured. Not much of Carpman or, or Butters or the others. It's mainly Stan and his dad episode. Which maybe that's another reason because... Stan is sort of the straight man of it all. As in the... Not the goofy, silly one, or the angry one like Cartman, or the kind of endearing one like Butters, or what have you. It's Randy I didn't find annoying, and the way it ends is just... Oh, actually, I'm not a gangster. I'm... 
I faked my death because this was a test for humanity to see how to spend the space cash or if they would return it. You didn't return it, instead you spent it all. We found out how selfish and greedy you are. Now you won't be part of the new f federation. In fact, we're going to make a cube so your lot, your plan's locked away from us. And Randy goes, well, that sucks, and the episode ends. I'm like, yeah, you know what? This episode does fucking suck. You know, that says it best, ain't Randy? Maybe that's what the makers of the show, they wrote this episode. It's like, well, this sucks. Yeah, just put that as the last thing he says. Yeah, this episode does fucking suck. It doesn't help that a lot of the major characters are missing and not utilized. Even the look of the space alien, there's nothing unique or funny about it. It just... Is, I don't know, I, just, I thought it was very lazy, ho-hum design. I just, the jokes were really tired and tepid. I just didn't find really anything funny about it. I would say it's the worst episode so far of this season, season 13. Not interesting. It felt just lazy. There was not much cleverness to it. Felt like they just made it out. They just made this episode up within a day. Which who knows, maybe they did with how fast they worked at times. Episode 7 I thought was much better. Because this is when you had the Somali Somali pirates happening. Like the basis for the movie Captain Phillips with Tom Haynes. The real life stuff was going on at this time. And they weren't sure on doing the episode because they didn't know at that point whether Captain Phillips and Phillipson's men would live or die. Obviously if they died they wouldn't do the episode. But if they lived, they did live so they went ahead with it. So, Carmen hears about these pirates, but he thinks it's a swashbuckling, hard pirates. So he gets excited about it, gets some kids. We're going to go find jewels and adventure. We got to go to this place named Somal Somalia. Kyle knows Carmen's stupid, so he's like, yeah, go ahead and go. Because Kyle wants Carmen to die. But, what Kyle doesn't realize is that four other people joined Carmen. Including his brother, Ike. And Butters joins as well. <clears throat> so right off the bat, we have a better start. We got Cartman and Butters. Stronger start than Stan and his dad. Like I said, Butters has become my favorite character. Cartman definitely has a lot of his good moments. Especially here, as in funny moments. Some funny bits... Like, Carmen's trying to convince Butters. Like, come on, don't you want to come? Do you want to stay here in the school where people make fun of you? And Butters, like, you mean you? Yeah, exactly. Don't you want to come with? Okay. You know, Butters just doesn't get it. And yeah, they think they're going to be in the land of pirates and as pirates of the fucking Caribbean. But as soon as they get there, there's, they can't understand the dialogue. But the Somali pirates are like, we're going to hold these for ransom. And they find like a yacht. I like French speaking folks. Sorry, French speaking folks. But again, the kid, especially Carmen, is so adamant of the pirate life. Even though they did return because of the ransom, the kids overtake the boat, and one of the kids has a lightsaber, which the grown ups are afraid of this toy lightsaber. And they bring the ship back. As the pirates are like confused, and Carmen's like, We got that booty, mateys. And they even start getting the pirates to do typical pirate things like sing songs, like Somalian pirate life for me. <laughs> and I've said before, I'll say it again the guys, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, definitely know how to deal with song workmanship and they make them either funny or catchy they definitely know how to make a song catchy at least a catchy jingle or <laughs> pretty funny lyrics they definitely know how to do that
And as it goes on, Kyle realizes, realizes what happened to his brother Ike. He goes to try to stop it, but he gets taken. And Carmen's like, oh, okay, yeah, you said it was so stupid at school, but now you want to be part of my, my ship. And, like, Carmen is more acting like a big kid. Like, he loves pirate than the pirate life so much. It's, it's not until, like, Butters and Ike realize that something is, is afoot. And they actually had it pretty well. And it's kind of another, it's a take on, you know, people want to talk about how bad it is in this country. And there is some bad stuff, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of places that are much, much worse. And there's always, gotta keep that in the back of your mind as well. There's another instance of showcasing that. Yeah, hey, we had good in America. <laughs> it's also surprising to hear Ike, just such a young voice, go, I feel like an asshole. <laughs> I didn't expect that line delivery or, or that line at all, but I thought that that had a chuckle out of me. And of course, the the biggest line is at the very end. Spoilers is the military or whatever you want to call them, maybe not military, but the snipers come, and one of them goes, "Do not hit the white ones," and the snipers take all the others out except. Carpman and the gang. And Carpman says, The fuck? And then it ends. I mean, you could assume that the kids are just brought back to South Park, but definitely a... not a subtle way to end the episode, but they gets his point across. I mean, I, I could get what the traders are going for is that Maybe the whole thing with Somali pirates are not cut and dry. But on the flip side, it, it may be very hard and tough for them. This doesn't mean you hurt and kill innocent people. There's still no room and reason for that. And that's what happened a lot. So, I'm sorry people are going through that. Don't, when you're ruining innocent people's lives and hurting their lives or killing them, then you lose my sympathy. Hate to say it. I understand maybe someone being down on their luck and they don't hurt anybody and they rob a bank and we see movies detail that fairly well. But I mean, it doesn't make you less wrong. But I'm just, ah, I just, I deal with the traders as how far we're going with that. I just. I don't think the thing comes off as successfully as they wanted it to be. But yeah, I, just the initial idea of Carbon mistaking the Somali pirates for the those type of pirates. He even like breaks off a table and gives a guy with no leg a paid leg. Now you look like a pirate. Because I admit, way, way, way back in the day when I first heard about Somali pirates... For a brief second, I did think, you mean, those, oh no, it's the different pirates. I will admit that. It might not have been Somali, I, th I think it might have been a different type of pirates. Because any time I thought of pirates, as a kid, like a lot of people, you think of red beard, black beard, all those beards, all that type of stuff. Treasure Island. Well, no, there's, there's other different kinds of pirates. I mean, that's... Many other different kinds. So again, I had an initial, initial funny idea. And utilizing Carpman and Butters and the other. It did a much better job in being funny compared to episode 6. So episode 6 I thought was a clunker. A stinker. Episode 7 was definitely a nice step up. I want to say it's a hilarious fantastic episode but I, I thought it was fun enough uh, to be worth the watch <laughs> at least that's my thoughts on it with that said thanks for watching take care we'll see you guys later bye bye